Good afternoon. My name's Keith Fielding. I'm now about to read you a poem that comes from my new book, Incidents and Accidents, or a matter of life and death. It's available in all good bookshops and even online. This poem is entitled Queen Victoria's Cock. What inspired me to write this was a monument in Liverpool where if you look at a certain angle you can actually see that the royal lady has got an appendage that most ladies don't usually have. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. It was bank holiday Monday and I was bored out my head. Nothing to do apart from lying in bed. Why don't you go to Liverpool? A friend of mine said. So I took his advice and I boarded a train. I've been there once, thought I'd try it again. There's got to be more than the weather outside or the same boring film about how somebody died. As I left Lime Street Station, I hadn't a clue of where to go or what to do. So I took the advice from a copper in blue. Take a black cab. He'll show you around. Won't charge you much, just a couple of pounds. Have a good day. Enjoy the town. Plenty to see. It won't let you down. So I hailed a cab and I jumped right in and the driver called out with a toothless grin. Where do you want to go, lad? And where have you been? I'm visiting the city. I've been told that it's great. And it was the capital of culture in 2008. Could you show me the sights? What the fuss is about? Cause last time I came, I couldn't find out. Then you never looked, lad, he hastily replied. It's a wonderful place, with sights far and wide. Then take me to them, showed me them all. The plain, the unusual, the big and the small, from the tiniest pub to St George's Hall. I'm not worried about the time or how much it cost. Just keep them coming and don't get us lost. Don't worry, sir, he then called out. There's plenty to see, of that there's no doubt. I'll show you the sights. I'll take you about. Our city of culture, no one can knock. We've even got a statue of Queen Victoria's cock. Buildings of grandeur will appear before your eyes. Some are modern and rise to the skies while others old secrets of days long gone by. There are parks and woods where kings used to ride and a marvellous museums with wonders inside. We've got the River Mersey that runs deep and wide with the uh, Widow Peninsula on the other side. We've got things that will tempt you and some that might shock. Oh yeah, I um, almost forgot. Have you ever seen Queen Victoria's cock? I quickly replied. People told me about it, but I thought that they'd lied. Well then, we'll start where the line is they used to depart, where all the scout sailors broke the young girls' hearts. Now it's only the ferries that sail back into. It said the liners are returning, they're long overdue, no longer setting down in the old Albert dock. Oh yeah, and then we'll head into town towards Victoria's Cock. We've got two of most things, or so it is said. One team in blue, the other in red. Two cathedrals joined by the app named Hope Street. And a new Dickie Lewis, where the people all meet. Oh, but ain't three rummy was ever so great. Winning three times, even with top weight. We led off to Matthew Street, where the band called the Beatles started to rock. But oh, we must not miss seeing Queen Victoria's cock. We drove round the city. So many of you. Buildings of splendour, of old and of new. Theatres and libraries, pubs and clubs. We looked over to where lords launched the ships and the subs. I saw a gate made from dragons and a toilet of tiles. 
But wherever I went, I was greeted with smiles. Because the humour and kindness stuck out by miles. So listen, my friends, don't hesitate to flock to the city of culture, Liverpool, and its infamous royal. And where can people find this poem, Keith? This is in my book, Incidents and Accidents, or a Matter of Life and Death. Available now in all good bookshops, and also as an e-book online. Wonderful, mate. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, that was really good performance there, mate. And uh, I'll send you a copy when I've edited it, and I'll send it you with me bill. A bill? Yeah, the bill for the doing this, yeah. I thought you were doing this for free, Jed. No, no, I, I've got expenses, mate, and we've got to... Well, I can give you a copy of the book if that's OK, you know. Um, no, it's all cash. No, 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 cash, mate. Cash? I think um, there's been a bit of misunderstanding. Well, yeah, you are paying yeah, I, for I, I this. Thought, I thought you were doing this as a friend, right? You know, as No, friends. mate, no, no, this is professional. If, um, you, want, if you want if you want uh, monkeys, mate, you pay peanuts. I'm a professional. Um Obviously, this can't go any further unless right. you're prepared to right. pay. Right. Yeah. Um, well, I'm a bit short on readies at the moment, well, Jed. Uh, can I pay you when... Um, no, mate, the world doesn't work like when that. When you sell a few books, Jed, I, I, I'll cut you in on it. What, you reckon you'll sell any? Uh, I've sold a couple. Well, we'll see. We'll come to a financial arrangement. OK, mate. Oh.